Mm. And what, what people don't mention is what do these CBDCs actually look like? You know, um, mm. at the moment, there's a bit of talk about this being phone-based apps. And yes, that is the initial phase. But what was already ready around 2015 is the ultimate goal, what they really want. Apparently, I was told by a central banker, is, you know, CBDC looks like a small grain of rice that they want to put under your skin, which is, in my view, a violation of human dignity. And they realize there is a hurdle. So to get people to, get people to accept this... There will be, you know, why, why suddenly are all the billionaires saying, let's have universal basic income? Because the story is going to be, oh, now we've created, you've created this vast unemployment and, and uh, disruption and crises. Well, we need universal basic income. You will get uh, 2,000 euros into your account every month. But of course, to run this efficiently, we need to use the latest technology. So, you know, you, you need the <laughs> CBDC uh, yeah. chip implant. But how many people will say, okay, fine, 2,000 pounds, uh, 2,000 euros, you know. Um. A, surprising, <laughs> a, a surprising proportion. They have literally delayed their agenda. But Shalom, I want to begin this lesson giving all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Rekhah Kodash, Yahweh being the true name of, of the Heavenly Father, who does what ignorantly calls God, and Yahweh Shah being the true name of our Lord and Savior, Baha Shem is in the name, Rekha Kudash, and that's through the Holy Spirit, and that's uh, according to the Paleo ancient Hebrew, or the Lashawan Kudash, okay? And double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well, peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. Back again with another lesson, and uh, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. And uh, to begin, just want to go to the book of Ezekiel, the third chapter. Starting at the 17th verse, and it reads, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. You know, and the Heavenly Father, through His only begotten Son, all right, has set up watchmen over the house of Israel. And, um, you know, it's starting with the Apostle, um, the elder Apostle Tahar from Great Millstone and the other Apostles. Elders, brothers down, all right, have been set up through the Holy Spirit, okay, to give forth uh, a warning for me, how Bashmal Shah, because the Lord will give his men the understanding in these latter times to be able to uh, perceive um, or Salaki receive what's going on, okay, through, uh, you know, through this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, okay, and it says, verse 18, when I say unto the wicked, Thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his bloods will I, will I require at thy hand. And that's why, hey, what does it say? Go out to the highways and byways. All right. Also speaks about uh, compelling, you know, um, the Lord's people. OK, to give forth that warning. What is that? Uh, Isaiah 58, starting at, the, starting at the top. Cry loud, spare not. You know, show my people their sins. And, uh, you know, roughly paraphrasing the scripture, man. So hey, we were supposed to, you know, give forth a warning, you know, tell our people hey, the things they're doing, they, you know, it's off according to the scriptures. All right, so the blood could be taken off our hands, right? Verse 19, yet if thou warn the wicked and he... Turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way. He shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. And that's the importance of a uh, going out on the highways and byways and a uh, giving our people, all right, um, or Salakia warning our people, okay, getting the blood off our hands, like it speaks about in Acts the 20th chapter. Acts chapter 20. And it says, Acts chapter 20, verse 26, Wherefore I take you record this day that I am pure from the blood of all men. All right, because hey, he went out there and did what he was commanded through the Spirit of Pariyah Bashim Shah. You know, we're proving our people. All right, and Lord willing, we coming in that same stead and that same spirit. 
all right, giving our people the right doctrine, giving our people, all right, the right way, you know, like how uh, it says in Jeremiah, the sixth chapter, you know, the good ways, all right, but nevertheless, you know, this is all really going back to the discussion of the Karagma, the MOTB, you know, and, you know, we have to give our people the truth, okay, the truth is 100%, anything Outside from the truth is a lie. And if you're not telling, you know, if you're not giving forth the best information and when that time comes, you know, like the scripture said, uh, lead them as a sheep to the slaughter, you know, not giving out what the Karagma is, what the MOTB is, you know, just because you've been uh, Esau Edom has given you a bag, you know, now, you know, it means something else. All right, and that's going to be heavy judgment for that from Yahweh Bashamal Shah. Okay, so again, that's why hey, we have to, hey, through the Spirit Empire Yahweh Bashamal Shah, you know, we have to give out, you know, the, we have to give out the truth or the blood is going to be on our hands, okay? Because Esau Edom is rolling with this, with his trying to establish his NWO, you know? We're in them times, and Lord willing, you know, I'm going to put a, um, a clip in the beginning of this, man. WEF, World Economic Forum, you know, has a member, which is now turned whistleblower, is coming out. Hey, man, so a great millstone got it right, you know. And a lot of these different camps, a lot of these different, you know, uh, leaders that's telling you that the mark of the beast is not, uh, you, know, an, you know, a microchip just to keep it blunt. You know, they going off, all right, because they have taken the bag. They sold out in this world, man. And a lot of our people, okay, just because, you know, um, you know, just because they may like a type of color, you know, that a, a group wears or, you know, you know, the purple or they're viral, you know, and, you know, they're popular, you know, but that does don't let that cloud your judgment you know okay what does it say in the book of malachi and hey, let's grab that malachi chapter um uh malachi chapter 3 verse uh 18 and it says that then then sh then shall ye return and discern between the righteous and the wicked okay so the elect 144,000 that's going to be able to hear that new song, okay? They're going to be able to discern between the righteous and the wicked, man, all right? And hey, if the Lord has given you the eyes out to see, it's very clear, you know, that the MOTB is the Karagma, man, you know? The microchip is going to be planted under the skin, and that's going back to the book of Revelation, the 13th chapter and the 16th verse, you know, and the apostles and elders, a great millstone, have been bringing forth this information through the spirit of Pariyah Bashamal Shah. All right. So when that time comes, you know, Lord willing, you know, the elect is going to be prepared. OK, because we understand that there's severe judgment for taking that. All right. There's severe judgment for taking that chip. OK, so that's why it's very important you give out the good information. OK, what does it say to give diligence to make that calling an election? Sure. All right. So you have to be prudent A prudent man. See if the e uh, see the evil and hide it himself. Roughly paraphrasing, man. All right. So in these latter times, the elect. All right. It's going to it's going to be able to see it. All right. They're not going to their, their judgment is not going to be clouded just because a group is more popular or a group. You know, it's fancy or, you know, they're on TV or, they're you know, at the end of the day, it's all about, you know, the truth. All right. The 100 percent truth, you know. So, you know, there was really more like a rant, but through the spirit. All right. In these latter times, we're seeing it clear. All right. Those that have been set up for filthy lucre's sake, those that have taken the bag and those that's doing this in a truth and sincerity. OK, because it, it's plain at this point, man, we're seeing Babylon the Great, which is America. All right. According to the scriptures, we're seeing this place uh, plummet. 
You know, like how it's written in Jeremiah, the 51st chapter, uh, Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 2. And it says, matter of fact, let's start at the top. Thus said the Lord, behold, I will raise up against Babylon, all right? And against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me, a destroying wind. So in this scripture, it's just to show you that a hey, heavenly father, who you ignorantly call God, whose true name is Yahweh, all right? Through his only begotten son, you know, who this word ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, whose true name is Yahweh Shah, they're against this place, man. And when I say this place, I'm, I'm talking about America. All right. Hey, the Lord is against this world, as it is written in the book of Job. All right. It says um, the earth has been given into the hand of the wicked, man. All right. That's Job 9 and 24. Let's see. Let's grab that. Job chapter 9, verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof, if not where and who is he? Right. So the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Verse 2, and will send unto Babylon fanners that shall fan her. All right. And those fanners are what you're seeing right now, man. Okay. You even have reports that one brick currency is going to be equivalent to 55 U.S. dollars. Okay. Now, the, the, the you know, that source being authentic is yet to be true. All right, but that's just a, this is just all to say, you know, we have to a fear you how about Shemal Shah, because it's the Lord that's bringing this. You say I will send unto Babylon fan. So it's hey, the Lord is doing it, man. OK, so it's just to show you that we're seeing this place plummet. All right. We understand that Esau North that he had but a short time that uh, Revelation of 12 chapter. All right, so, hey, this thing is speeding up, man. It's hey, in the book of Matthew. What is that? Uh, Matthew, the 24th chapter. It says, the days shall be shortened for the elect's sake. All right, because Esau knows that he has but a short time. Okay? You know, in this society, everything is becoming, um, you know, not unnatural, not authentic. You know, you have Bill Gates trying to, uh, advertise synthetic meat now it's a new thing that they're trying to make meat from oxygen from the air the water is polluted you know the fruits you know are seeds with uh without seeds or gmo you know so esau yeah he got he has to get taken out the way all right and he knows he is man but it's the book of matthew chapter 24 and um it's the book of matthew chapter 24 verse 22 and it reads or let's start at verse 21 then shall then shall be great tribulation such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time nor nor ever shall be so that great tribulation you had an individual you know saying that hey jacob's trouble you know, that's not going to be for Jacob, <laughs> you know, speaking about so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. OK, so it says great tribulation. So this is going to be a time worse than slavery. It says such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, nor shall ever be. So this is going to be a great tribulation. It says, OK, and except those days be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. All right. And it's all about Yahweh Shah's elect. OK. And those days are going to be shortened all right, for the elect's sake. You know, and imagine we're already in the month of September. Soon to be October is going to be 2024. A time is going by fast, man. OK. So, you know, we in those times, you know, as it is written in the book of Revelation, the first chapter. Revelation chapter 1, verse 3. Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. The time is at hand for this world to come to a to come to an end. Alright? Second Ezra the sixth chapter. For Esau is the end of the world, 
And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, man. All right? And we understand who Esau is, okay? Esau is the self-proclaimed so-called white man, starting with the, you know, um, elite banking families, you know? But, you know, there's many people understanding who Esau is, man. At a point of time, Esau's, you know, um, he used to move in secrecy. All right, but now he's being revealed, okay? That man of sin in a lot of time will be revealed. But, you know, I just wanted to bring this spirit out. Oh, I just like it. I just wanted to bring this lesson out through the spirit of Pariyah Bashamal Shah, you know? And we're seeing, you know, the time is at hand, and the Lord has given us all these tokens. He's given us and showing us all these signs, okay? Letting us know that, hey, this is the end of this world, all right, the end of this world as it been prophesied, the end of this world as it is written. All right, and just to close off, um, let's get the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 42, verse, uh, verse 9. Behold, the former things are come to pass, and the new things do I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. All right, so before they spring forth, before they come to pass, I tell you of them. So Amos, the third chapter and the seventh verse. Let's get that real quick. All right. Amos chapter three, verse seven. Surely the Lord Yahweh will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. So the Lord reveals his secrets unto the servants, the prophets. Why does the Lord reveal his secrets to the servants, the prophets? All right. Not, not only to give forth that warning, all right, but a, to prepare themselves you know, give them a practice test before the real test occurs. All right. So, you know, Lord willing, this lesson was that a fine. Um, to the next time, giving all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rekabadash, the bonus to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, that rule well. Peace, blessed unto the elect. Till next time, Shalom, and a blah, blah, blah.